So it's game five. Playing with a Vayne. We're going to have to get rid of a Lulu and a Yumi game as well. And that Loe Elo, that's really horrible to play. I stop at Diamond 4? We'll see. If I like zoom to Diamond 4, then we'll go to Masters, I guess. What are we playing? Any off meta supports? I'm only playing the support champions that are in this list and the client. So I have to play each one of these champions once before I then allowed to play them again. And this is game number five, and we've already played Brand, Seraphine, Thresh, and Soraka. So it's Jin Top. Yeah, it's the same Jin from last game. Um, it, is it time for a Lulu game? Or we might need something to try and like punish the Jin. What do Lulu? It makes the most sense with the Vayne. I would do that anyway, and we'll do an airy build. This is fine. We could do maybe Gathering Storm as well. If you missed any of the games, all the games will be going up onto YouTube. Every single episode will be labeled and stuff. Depending on how much content we have, the YouTube channel could end up having two videos um, every day again. We'll see. I don't want to like overburden myself with too much work, but we'll see. And yet, this is one of the special Riot accounts. This has got fresh matchmaking rating, bronze 4. It gets deleted at the end of the season. So we're up against a double poke lane. I do hope the Vayne's good, otherwise, well... <laughs> I mean, asking for a good AD carry and bronze is, kind of, is a bit of a reach, isn't it? Um, but I hope... Wow, this guy is already... What's going on, man? In the chat. Wonka S. Relax. Be happy. But I hope the Vayne can utilize what I have on Lulu. If that doesn't work, then we still have a Jax to potentially work with as well. If the Jax is good. So we do have a slight backup plan. Um, but Ilulu and Yumi are very difficult to play in these Elos because they are dependent on relying on other people. So yeah. That was incredibly fast loading in time and there's someone at the door. Brilliant. So I'm gonna stay in base so people know I'm not there. Beep, beep. So game number five of the Unranked Diamond series. If you've just tuned in and you have no idea what I'm doing, I'm doing a Unranked Diamond kind of challenge, but with a twist. The twist is, is that I have to play every single support champion at least once before I'm allowed to play them again. So, so far we've already done Brand, Thrash, Soraka, Seraphine. I'm not allowed to play those until I've played all 32 support champions that are labeled in the champion selection window. This is game number five. We've lost one. It's so three wins, one loss. And we're around about bronze three, bronze two right now. The account that I'm playing on was given to me by Riot and will be deleted at the end of the season. And this is meant to be more of an educational support series as opposed to, haha, look at me smurfing. Am I writing down what champions I've played? Yes, of course. Yeah. 
So, Vayne seems to be competent. That's a huge amount of damage already on Ezra. He does surprisingly a high am amount of damage early on. I took W for the thing just in case she was going to go in there, but they're playing really, really far back. They're respecting level 2. The vein is decent, like she's not bronze. Just having a quick look at the stats. She's got four games with a 50% win rate. She's not playing like a bronze at least anyway. The tumbles are good and quite clean. Yeah, I should have maybe taken Q second. I just thought the vein was going to be able to go in. As is on one health potion. I want to try and get more poke in, but I don't want to get caught out by Zyra. Actually, and also, I haven't played Lulu since the patch, but they brought back the Pix gold. Pix now gives uh, 20 gold. So I know I did a video on that like last week or whatever, but that they fixed it now, which is huge. Okay, Ezra has no more health potions. Vayne's doing a good job last hitting. I do wish that the Vayne wouldn't push in so much though. Trundle's top side right now. And that gin is the smurf from the previous game, by the way, the enemy gin top. So we'll see how we manage that. I'm kind of looking for a kill angle here. Ezra does have heal. I'm trying to bait out of, of yeah, a Zaraki. If we play this right, we can get a kill. A lot of damage on Ez. It's definitely this kill potential. I wouldn't want to risk it too much though. Not under Tara at least anyway. That's a very generous E land there. I'm trolling. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have died. Ignite, use for Zyra. Vayne unfortunately wasted her exhaust there. And yeah, that was a bad death from me. Would have survived if I just eat myself. Right, we're going to room towards mid now and get a ward down there. Does Vayne have a skill shot? Um, mm, her E is kind of a skill shot, it's Condemn, when if you push, it pushes back a target and if they hit a wall, then they get stunned. It's not like, it you, it's always will land on the target, but like after that you're gonna need to like, make sure you push them into the wall. But it's not like a, a true skill shot, if that makes sense, it's not like she has to like aim it, aim the, the E specifically, the E shot. Kind of like a poppy dash? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like a poppy dash. Diana's here. There's a control with that. Just go to the control with me. Cool. I mean, we can you can freeze that. You don't have to push that back in. Yeah, 
Assuming she knows what freeze means. I mean... Hopefully she doesn't just think it's just a chilly day. Okay, good. So far, team's doing pretty damn well. We're handling the smurf gen quite nicely. She throws the hands up when you say threes. Oh my god. This is an NA, so don't have to worry about that. But Vayne is freezing the wave now. Diana's in a good position, that's still my control with there. But they seem to know that she's there. And it's like, yeah, there's not a lot that the enemy team can do. Ezra's getting denied a lot of XP and CS right now just because we're holding the wave here. Also means we're pretty safe as well from any potential ganks. Galio's looking to try and come down and help unfreeze this lane. Letting her know that I'm nearly six. Okay, cool. Diana got both kills. Need to hit this turret three times. Forwards. Is the smurf cute? I mean, it feels a bit higher elo than the last game. I wouldn't say that the enemy bot lane are necessarily smurfing. Could have potentially considered staying there and looking to kill them there, but it's fine on the recall. I mean, it's not the best recall, but it's fine. Um, all right, Vayne's still in base chatting. Um, I'm gonna ward up the river. Some of the vision. Yeah, they're respecting me already like crazy since I was already behind them clearing out wards. I'm just gonna freeze the lane a little bit, but nothing too crazy. I mean I use the time to get some decent vision. Like my mid laner doesn't really have to worry about being ganked right now because of the the vish the vish that we got. Oh, there we go. There's a trundle. We can probably stop this trundle for going for scuttle. He's on it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think Nez is out of position there, we could have forced an arcane shift. But it's okay. What champion are we playing? We're playing Lulu. Trundles him. Fine, I'm not really worried about this at all. We can fight this. I don't 
Yeah, I think... Totally could have fought, had a fight here. I think we could have killed them all, actually. Vayne was pulling back her shots, so she still had exhaust and stuff. Diana's looking to come behind turret here. Yeah, Trundle's still there. Zara's still got ulti, I think. Uh, Vayne died. They're talking weird language. Okay, we we'll just recall. Okay, I mean, you want to go for it? Nah. Should have saved that for myself. That was a good Ezol, actually, literally nowhere to party. There wasn't enough room at the bottom to go to. She's going to give a bounty here, though. Vayne might be able to collect a kill. She can kill Galio, too, if she plays it right. Galio messed up already. Okay. Mm, I think Ikari could have got the kill there. She had ulti. I would just like to do the dragon to be honest. Trundle's coming down. Easy enough. There's a lot of Ezra's that we've seen in the in this series so far using Arcane Shift to engage like that. Bit crazy. Bit too too overconfident. Why three points in E and, and a max W? Because E is a decent harassment tool, but W is like the most important thing on Lulu. You don't want to max W first because you got nothing to buff super early on. Also, increased uh, polymorph duration is quite nice. I mean, Vayne has all. I know, I would have been happy for the Vayne to stay and I just pop W and E on her and she just does work on them, but it's fine, whatever. You run in and fight? Alright, well wait for me. I think she could just zoom right in. Like if I buff her right now. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, she said she could just run straight in. Do you want to run in? Do you want to just go in, dude? Go. I'm ready. 
Okay. Why is Trundle down here? It's literally held up. She's freezing the wave. What the hell's going on up there? Stopping the Zyra recall? That was kind of gross. Well, we got an inhib at 17 minutes topside. Good, finally. Like, in my head, mentally, I think the best way to get the most efficient way of climbing with the rule set that I've given myself is that we just play the Lulus and the Yumis uh, with the hyper carries whenever we can. But also, if I can, on the next wave, like next time I play Lulu, I'm going to try and maybe wait a little bit longer to play her because we should, in theory, be a bit high yellow, maybe like higher silver or something. Maybe gets a little bit more trustworthiness, uh, AD carries, but fortunately this vein isn't like, you know, she's be definitely better than an average bronze vein for sure. <laughs> okay. Let's get out. Super creeps on top turret. Uh, don't really need Grievous wins against their team. Gonna go Redemption. Dragon, 30 seconds. So is Baron. The one downside of killing Inhib so early is that the enemy team does get to farm these super creeps. <laughs> uh, but I think it's fine anyway. Okay. Jack's died. I mean, just need to tidy up the game. There isn't really that much to talk about. Enemy team on Mega Delt. We could probably just do Baron, honestly. I don't see what they can actually do. Should die pretty fast with the vein. Now we just need to push down mid. Like, no one's defending top. It's basically over. doing anything and there's nothing for me to do. Game was over a long time ago. Rude. I guess we can end since there's only one turret here and they're not Defending by the looks of it. I'm 
GG question mark? It's probably been the most disappointing game so far of the series. But a win's a win. Have won all the games so far? No, we did lose one. We uh, we lost one. Won't spoiler it for people, but we did we lost one of them. There we are on the vein. I mean, the vein was definitely better than the bro basic bronze vein. There's no doubt about that. So we were fortunate to have, you know, playing Lulu with someone that could actually play the champion makes it a lot easier. Um, also, the enemy Jin was the guy that went like 20 kills on my team last game, and then he went 2 7 this game. So. And it was against the same matchup as well, by the way. I think he was playing against the Jax, and the Jax went like 0 10, whereas this Jax went like 7 3, which is what should happen against the Jin matchup in top anyway. The Jax should win. So. This, uh, this Jin got told, at least anyway. But yeah, that's another champion down. We've got what? I think it's 32 on that list, isn't there? And we've done five. So we've got another, what, 27 to do? <laughs> another 27 to do before uh, we have to start the list all over again.